Hey guys, it's Neanderthal MC here, bringing you another episode of Building with me, Neanderthal MC. Um, this is Attack of the B Team once again, back at this mod pack for a little bit. Um, here we are at the treehouse base. I finally got enough experience to fill up at least a little bit of these tanks floating around my uh, storage tree here. So it's really distinct. Now this is the look I was going for. It's a really cool looking... I don't know, just like a trademark of this tree right here. I plan on doing something like that for all my trees once I get, you know, enough resources or think of something to do with them. Um, as I'm flying around here, you might have noticed this, this uh, really cool, really, really cool uh, um, ravine that there was a mountain and then there was a ravine underneath it that cut up all the way into the mountain, but it still had both sides. So it was just like a big cave opening and what I did is I went in and added some layers like this so I went in and filled a whole layer with dirt all the way back there and then let the grass grow all the way to the back and then I kind of I cleaned up some of the crap on the out on the outsides I'm still gonna do a lot of cleaning up trust me um, and then I kind of added like a, a fake natural archway here and then I did the same thing for this level, filled them with a bunch of dirt, put in a fake archway thing, let the grass grow, and I carried this one all the way back here, which I, I made this natural opening a little bit bigger to this side of the mountain, which I really haven't done a single thing with, mostly because these islands and this side are pretty gross looking, and I don't know, I don't really like this side. So that's just there for access, probably. Maybe do something with it later. Um, and then on the bottom row, oh, and I poked a hole through this waterfall to fall through it too. On the bottom, I kind of filled, here, I'll just dig through quick. I just put a bunch of torches down here. You got to be kidding me. God dang. Um, put a bunch of torches down here so mobs don't spawn, and I just covered it up instead of filling it in, which is taking a lot more blocks and a lot more time. So I kind of covered it up. Where are you? That was strange. <laughs> uh, yeah. Covered it up with dirt. I'm gonna let the grass grow even more. I have another layer down here. And then I left. Um, there was a natural, kind of weird side cave thing here. I'm gonna leave this. Maybe put like a staircase in there. Maybe extend it down to the bottom layer so I don't have to go out the front to go down layers or up layers. Uh, but the reason I did these layers was for what's in these chests here. We're finally <laughs> going to put our um, bookshelves together and our craft or er, crafting our uh, chanting station back together. Ever since uh, we left the old place, we haven't had one of these yet. And so I thought it was about time to do it. And I wanted to do it with you guys, so... Um, a good place for this. I want it to be easy access like this. So if I'm flying in, maybe a good space to be right at the back here. Yeah, this looks good. This looks like it'll fit it too. Um, and so there's three layers of this uh, cave thing. And one layer is going to be this one. This top one is going to be the enchanting station. Um, the next one down has a chest with all my Tinker's Construct stuff in it, which I really need to get back into because uh, these tools are great and all. These uh, sharpness and efficiency things just from those, from those flint and metal and stone, or iron, metal. <laughs> those iron, flint, stone, and coal sharpener things. I just put three of those on one of these and it gives a sharpness three or efficiency three or efficiency three, like all those three. Uh, but you blaze through them pretty quick just because they're no one breaking and the Tinker's Construct stuff is just so much better anyways. So I really want to set that up and get back to having those tools. Um, so this is the right width here. And don't worry, we are going to dress it up some more. Uh, I, one thing, I, another thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, inside of this purple, no, this black bag right here. I, I started experimenting with the chisel mod. And I, I picked out some blocks that I want to mess around with in this cave here. Um, some some two types of stone bricks that I chiseled into this, this kind of 
I don't know, cobblestone-y looking stone brick thing, and then a really smooth connected texture looks kind of like andesite brick. And then uh, I really want to use this borderless glass, really cool looking, and these two types of cobblestone. Um, some more limestone, some ash stone, and then some stone paths. Oh, and then these uh, metal, these iron bars that I use this chisel. And what you do with the with the chisel is it's just uh, in a crafting bench, it's a stick, and then four iron up in the corner. And then what you do is you you right click on it, and then you let's say let's put some marble cobble. Oh no, can't do that. <laughs> let's put some gravel in there. Can't do that either. Most blocks work, some of them don't. Okay, so wood, wood works. Wood planks. You can turn this one plank of wood or all eight planks of wood into, let's say, some crates like this. So it makes a little clicking noise. Plop them down. Looks pretty cool, right? You can do that with all any, most vanilla blocks and then blocks that have uh, this chisel thing. Like all these have that blue chisel word underneath them. Any kind of block that has that, you can do it. And most and most vanilla blocks, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be using th that a lot since that is one of the main mods in this pack that allows you to change blocks like for building. Uh, so we're gonna put these down here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> and. Uh, one of the reasons I put the the grass as the floor, I might change it up a little bit, but I'm gonna, I want that because that color, this is one of my, this is just an awesome color right here. This kind of rainforest green turquoisey color, I think it's awesome. So that's what our floor is gonna be like. So put some torches here so we don't get any nasty surprises. Come on, there we go. All right. So there's that. Uh, I'm gonna pop this, this stuff over here too. Do that chest. Uh, this will just be for like books and stuff. Uh, let's just pop that there. Put the extra books there. Alright. Next floor now. Um, you know what? I need to grab something first, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I just had to grab. S I just had to dump some of my stuff up at the at the base up there, so I had more room. Uh, so I emptied out some of these uh, backpacks that I had with my Tinker Construct stuff in it, and I don't really know where I want to do this. Uh, I don't really want to do it in the back again because there's that there. Uh, I might want to like do it. Uh, I don't really want to do it up. I want to do it on the ground. Maybe I'll dig out. Maybe I'll dig out something like that. Oh, I know. I'll do it right here. Right here. This will be like the bottom floor of that, that uh, staircase thing I was talking about. So uh, let me... Yes. This won't take very long. I'll get out of here. Why are you running away? There you are. He's taller than me. <laughs> Those baby zombies get taller than you when you become a bat. So I was gonna clean this out, make it. I'm not sure how wide. I think it's a. I need a three by three area for the the whole smeltery setup. And again, I'm doing this really rough draft. Like, I hear you. <laughs> oh, second too late. Um, doing this really rough draft. Like, oh, no room. <laughs> Uh, let's get this backpack. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Where are these guys coming from? Jeez. <laughs> like I was saying, I'm doing this really rough draft like because uh, we're going to spruce it up with that uh, those blocks with the chisel mod I was talking about later but I want to get the function down first so I can actually get some tools to use um, so if you guys weren't I know you guys weren't here oh yeah, I need five by five that's right so you lay these and there's seed bricks down which you get by making um, mixing clay sand and gravel together and then 
different combinations of these seared bricks get you these seared bricks uh, the bigger ones and then what you do is you make these things which are different patterns of the the actual ingot things seared bricks and then you put you find the right pattern like just go online google tinkers contract smelter it'll be it'll be hundreds of sites showing you how to do it different ways there are different ways to do it too um, so don't think this is the only way um, but the basis of it is you need a space like this three by three and then a ring of five by five around it get out of here you guys oh my goodness Look some iron. <laughs> and then you put the special tank and the controller and uh, some drains I'm only going to do one right now uh, where does this this goes here I think I don't remember it's been a while but uh, and then you go something like this and then you put your uh, casting table down below one of these bricks and then you get a, a faucet and plop that there and then what you do is you can either throw stuff in here oh another thing uh, you can make the storage space bigger by adding another layer like this uh, so like oh need a little bit more there we go oh and it gave me a book <laughs> see how that doubled that layer get out of here if I do another layer, okay, so notice how there's uh, 18 spots here. If I do another layer here, oop, that doesn't matter. Uh, another layer, now there's 27. You can't see it, but <laughs> I can scroll now. Um, and then, oh my god, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh boy, um, must be... Uh, some dark spots out here. Hello. It's seeming like there's a spawner up in this mountain. Not quite sure, but uh, that's what it seems like. That'll be a nice bonus if I find one of those in there here. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Here's the basic setup. And then what you do is you... Okay, so I got an iron here. So I'll throw that in. Let it smelt up. Um the way it smelts is you put a bucket of lava in your hand and you put it into the seared tank hello yeah there's definitely a spawner there has to be there's no way this many zombies just zombies will be spawning in here Let me get to the bottom of this hello you dropping in from somewhere Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Anyways, maybe I'll just block it up for now. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, here we go. So that's melted. And you see, you get a little bit of iron in there. Iron is red in Tinker's Construct. Uh, I guess that's just what they want it to be. Get out of here. My goodness. And so what you do is if I wanna make a oh, okay, so let's do this. Let's make a let's make an iron plate. I think I could do that. Get an open fist. Maybe not. Uh, I need a cast. Uh so I'll get that and I'll be right back. So I was I was close with it. Uh you need to put the faucet on a drain block so it looks like this. You know, so there's a hole for them to get Oh my god! Okay, there has to be something around here. <laughs> um, so you put the cast in there. You right-click on this, and the red liquid flows. This is just an ingot cast. You can get all kinds of casts, and then you right-click. Boom, you got your ingot back. Uh, that's just a basic tutorial. I will have some tools by next time. Hopefully they're good. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.